Good evening, this is the New Dawn FM News in English, read to you by Loisis Laukai. First, the headlines. President Momis supports the amendment of the Bougainville MSNT Act. Police commander warns public not to breach state of MSNT orders. Member proposed limitation of 60 days for any MSNT extension. ABG Vice President assured that 2020 elections will still be held. Paubake Chairman thank Member Peter and people want government support. Not the news in detail. The ABG President, Grand Chief Dr. John Momis, has supported the amendment of the Bougainville Emergency Act, stating that it was the only right thing to do. Honorable Momis told the House of Representatives that the amendment made in extending the tenure of the parliament was necessary to keep a legitimate government in place. You don't want to live in a country without a democratically elected government, Momi said. Momi said the essence of democracy is adherence to the rule of law and the rule of law should be respected at all times because without law there would be total chaos. He said Bougainville is heading towards becoming a new nation and the basis of achieving that is democracy. Remember, it took us a lot of effort and energy to be where we are today, following the democratic process, even though there were hardships faced, he said. The police commander in Buin, Chief Sergeant Emma Chimes, warns about the consequences of breaching the state of emergency orders, stating that there are 29 standing orders in emergency order number two. Commander Chimes explained that breaching of any of these orders and failure to comply with these orders will have the people breaching the orders apprehended, arrested, and charged. He reminded the essential service providers in Bougainville to continue to operate from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. and not operate after hours, as arrests will be made to those who do not comply with this order, stressing on order 12 that states that there shall be no sudden increase in the process of goods and services during the state of emergency, Mr. Chimes said businesses normally use this as an opportunity to make profit, but warned that this won't be tolerated. Mr. Chimes appealed to the people to report any shops that increase their goods prices to the police to deal with them. He said there is a total ban on gambling activities, nightclubs, liquor outlets, sports, musical and cultural events. He appeals to the people to comply with all the 29 standing orders, as Order 27 states that non-compliance of order is unlawful and is liable for prosecutions and punishment under the regulation and other applicable laws. The member for Citalato, Honorable Fidelis Semoso, while debating on the proposed amendment of extension, recommended to the House of Representatives to limit the extension for only 60 days and not to leave an open-ended amendment. Mr. Semoso said under no circumstances must the government allow an open-ended amendment, but must be a limit and definite time period for any extension. He said he supported the proposed extension amendment, but strongly argued that the House must set a limited time frame for any extension to avoid any inconvenience in the future. We must support the extension because it is vital at this time, but at the same time, we must be sensitive to the nature of the extension, he said. Honorable Simoso then proposed a time limit of 60 days for any further extension. He said within the 60 days, the commissioner should be prepared for the election to commence. You're listening to New Dawn FM News in English. The ABG Vice President and Minister for Mining and Member for Atolls, Mr. Raymond Masono, assured Parliament last week that there will still be elections in Bougainville for the next ABG government. Mr. Masono, while explaining the purpose of the extension amendment, stated that it is the only legal and proper way to ensure that beyond the 8th of June, there is still a government in Bougainville. He said, without the Section 15A of the Emergency Act, 
that was approved, national constitution would prevail and the national government would take over Bougainville, which the people of Bougainville will not accept. Based on that amendment, he guaranteed that the ABG elections will still be held and people must not be discouraged. Honorable Masano said people must be relaxed and continue to follow the orders from the medical team because people's health is more important. Two chairmen from the Baobake Rural Community Government and the Baobake Urban Community Government today thanked the member representing the women of South Bougainville, Isabel Peta, for supporting the community governments in carrying out COVID-19 awareness in their wards. In a joint statement released from Buin today, the two chairmen, the chairman of the Baobake Rural Community Government, Charles Laya, and the chairman of the Baobake Urban Community Government, Fred Tuma, acknowledge the financial support of member Peter, which made it possible for their community governments to carry the awareness in their wards. They also mentioned the support given by their constituency member, Jacob Toke, in supporting the main awareness team in South Bougainville. The two chairmen said that the support by their members has helped them in making their people aware of this COVID-19, which has killed many people throughout the world. Now to end the English bulletin, the former chairman of the Central Bougainville Combined COE chairman, John Donner, today called on the ABG to find ways of supporting its citizens who have lost their only means of making money due to the state of emergency restrictions. He told New Dawn FM from Arawa that ordinary citizens who have been relying on market sales of vegetables are now facing food shortage as they used to make money for their daily meal. He said even business houses have laid off their staff without paying them and they need immediate support. Mr. Donner said that if the state of emergency is allowed to continue for a few more months, the people will die of hunger and not from the COVID-19. New Dawn FM understands that the ABG budgeted for 5 million kina for emergency relief when it extended the state of emergency by two months. This has been the New Dawn FM News in English. You can also see our news on www.bongambilnews.com www.bongambil.taipet.com You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. You can also listen to our news on our New Dawn FM YouTube page. On behalf of the news team, I'm Aloysius Lokai. You have a pleasant evening.